Hi and welcome students. Today's tutorial will cover Microsoft Excel 2016 and we have a video request coming in from Mav. Mav says, do you have any videos talking about the if function? Well the if function is basically an if then statement put into Excel form. So we're going to learn about this function in our functions and formulas tutorial and let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that I want to do is take a look at this spreadsheet here. Uh, this is a spreadsheet that I made up called Instructor A. Morgan's Farms and basically it handles all of these different items and the quantity and stock for uh, various fruits and vegetables. Alright, well the first thing that I want to show you how to do is do an if function and then I'm going to go ahead and show you the count if function and then finally uh, conclude this with some conditional formatting that will make our if function even more valuable to us. So the first thing that you have to know about an if function is where to find it. Where to find it is right up here in the formulas tab and you go right here to the purple book with the question mark on it and it says logical. If you click right there then you can see it's the third one down. Now if you've never written an if function before this is the best way to go about it by using your function arguments dialog box which I'll show you in just a minute. Basically you go through here you find the function and if you hover over it it'll tell you what that function is or what it does. This one checks the con uh, whether a condition is met and returns a value if true and another value if false. So in this uh, scenario here, what I want to do is show you a couple different columns here. I have the quantity in stock, the item name, and the stock level. Okay, and so if I look at all these, I could say, all right, well, if my boss says that I have to order product every time the quantity in stock gets below 50, okay well instead of going through and looking at each of these individually and saying okay well then I need to order this one and this one and this one rather than doing that I can set up an if function to basically make it so that it, uh, it, it will tell me if I need to order it or not based off of this number over here so that's what we're gonna do right now so we go to the formulas tab we go to the function library and we choose logical then we click on if now this will open up the function arguments dialog box right here and I'll just move it to the center of the screen so that I can see everything that I need. Okay, And so this part right here says logical test. Logical test, if I have this blinking cursor right here, I can see logical test is any value or expression that can be evaluated to be true or false. All right. Well. That basically means that I have to write my uh, logical test right here. So in this case, I said that if I have any quantity in stock that's less than 50, then I'm going to have to order, right? I'm going to have to order that product. If not, then it's okay. Well, the logical test basically says just that. I have to figure out what this number is over here, because again, that matches up with this over here, right? The stock level for this item right here. So I click on that and it says A14, okay? If that's less than, so we have that symbol right there, the less than symbol, 50. Okay, so that's our logical test, all right? Now, as soon as I type this in, it says false over here. The reason it says false is because 78 is larger than 50, okay? Now, if this was true, okay, so if A14 is less than 50, if that's true, I need to order that product. So I type in order right there. And then I press tab or click down to this one down here. Now it says if the value is false, well, then it's OK. So I just type in OK. Don't be concerned about the uh, quotation marks that appear around the words. That's OK. That's just part of the formula. And then I click OK. And there we go. It says OK. Well, that's perfect. Now I could always check by clicking on this if what it looks like in the actual function uh, formula bar up here. And it says, if or equals if a14 is less than 50 comma order comma okay so if I actually knew how to write this I could just write it out right in here but like I said if you're just learning this use the function argument box up here in logical so now that I got the formula correct most people go right here and they redo the formula but since I got it right once all I have to do is use the autofill in the bottom right corner and I can fill it on down for the rest of these okay so that looks great right there and now we see there we go, it's all filled in. So now anything under 50 items or quantity in stock now says that I have to order, right? So right here, order, right here, order again because they are less than 50. So that logical test at the very beginning was um, already set up. Now I just filled in this formula and you notice that the formatting is a little bit different on all of these. It was all defaulting to this blue format. So if I ever want to not copy without formatting, in the bottom right you'll see this little icon that says autofill options and I can just choose fill without formatting. 
and that will send it back to that default formatting, keeping my table uh, consistent in style. All right, so that looks good. Now I'm going to show you count if formula. All right, so right up here it says specialty plant types. Now count if is basically uh, another uh, version of an if function. So we're going to go ahead and do that right here. So your boss comes up to you and says, hey, I want to take a look at all the specialty plant types. Well, you'll see right over here in category, there are a bunch of different plant types, right? These are all the categories, and you'll see some of them say specialty. Now, what some people try to do is they go over here and they say, all right, one, two, and then they go through and try to find them all. Well, if you have a thousand parts or something like that, that's just not going to work for you. So we can do right here a count if function. What that does is we go over here to the formulas tab in the function library group. We click this orange book with the three dots on it, and then we go to statistical, and we go down here to count if. There we go. So count if is right there. And so what count if does is it opens up the function argument dialog box and it says counts the number of cells within a range that meet the given condition. Well, the range that I'm interested in is everything in the category column. So I could either choose to click and drag from right here all the way down to the end of the data, or since I don't have anything above or below the table, I could just click on column G right oops column G alright so if I click right oh you know what since that's merged it won't work so I'll just go ahead and go down here and click all of these click and drag through and there we go G13 to G42 alright so since that's now the range that I've selected I could go right here to criteria and for the criteria I type specialty it's important that I type everything correctly here I type in specialty and there we go I click OK and now we see that it counts the amount of times that specialty occurs in the range that I provided. And again, in the formula bar, I can see up here equals count if in that range right there, G13 to G42, the amount of times that it says specialty, which was six. So again, spelling is very important right there. So that's what count versus count if is. But now we're actually going to take it one step further. And right here in the stock level, I'm going to go ahead and highlight my entire table. Okay, and so I want to have a visual indicator every single time I want to order something. So what I'm going to do here is I want to set up conditional formatting to where if I set this up, every time I see the word order, I'm going to immediately know that I have to order that product. And visual cues are really nice and they really help you see uh, different trends in Microsoft Excel. So let's go ahead and click the Home tab and go over here to the Styles group and click Conditional Formatting. Now what I could do is I could go to this section right here that says Highlight Cells Rules, and it, right here there's an option for Text That Contains. So if I click this right here, Text That Contains, it's going to open up with this Text That Contains dialog box. Now if I type in Order here, I can actually set order uh, so that every time that word appears in this range, it's going to give me a red look, meaning I need to order this right away. I could actually even go into here and customize it with yellow or with green or with any of the other setups right here, but I could even go right here to custom format and set everything up uh, custom, right? So I could go right here and change the fill to red and uh, just click OK after that. And so now every time I see order, it appears in red right there. Now looking at that, if I was going to go in here, I should probably change the font color to white since the red is so dark. And that might, oh, well, that didn't really work out. I guess I had to change them both. Let's see here. Color, white for the font, fill, red. Okay, so I guess you have to change them both at once. So I click that, and there we go. Now I see visually, every time I need to order, right there, I see it in red fill and white text. That way every time I see that it'll be uh, it'll let me know that I need to order. Finally if I go over here and let's say I sold a hundred of these products right here and it's went from 135 down to just 35 you'll notice that it will automatically update right over here. So by setting up if functions I could actually format my cells in a way that will basically show me visually every single time what and when I need to order. So hopefully this tutorial has helped explain uh, not only the if function to you but also the count if function and how to condition, uh, set up conditional formatting on your cells. If you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and uh, consider subscribing to the channel. I also have other videos on Microsoft Excel in the playlist that should be linked on your screen now. Thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.